Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. Some major developments tonight. A movie theater massacre in Colorado. The suspect, James Holmes, will be back in court next week for arraignment after going before a judge for the first time today. And prosecutors have not ruled out pursuing the death penalty. The first American woman to fly in space is being remembered tonight. Sally Ride has died at age 61 after a battle with cancer. KCAL 9's Edward Lawrence looks back at the legacy she left for America's space program. A search tonight for bandits who have been stealing bronze vases from the graves of Southland War veterans. Now, so far, more than 100 vases. The Olympic Games start this week, and sponsors are paying big money to be part of those games. And that has led to a crackdown on the use of symbols and phrases by smaller businesses. Spectators are even facing rules on what they can wear and eat inside the Olympic Park. Monica Villamizar has more from London. A legal victory for parents who want change in the way a low-performing San Bernardino County school is run. The ruling involves Desert Trails Elementary in Adelanto. But KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo tells us an appeal is expected. The men who want to win the White House in November are concentrating on California during this leg of the campaign. KCAL 9's Edward Lawrence shows us how Republican candidate Mitt Romney is trying to score points in Orange County. A landmark court ruling in the Southland involving the state's parent trigger law. Parents in Adelanto are the first to take on a school district over management of a school and win. But KCAL 9's Christy Fajardo reports there could be an appeal over the court decision. It happened again. Another man died during a confrontation with police. And tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Michael Jackson's mother, Catherine, may be at the center of a family feud, and apparently it got violent. KCAL 9's Bobby Capel is live at Catherine. Thank you. The city of El Monte may declare a fiscal emergency. The LA Times is saying that this vote could come tomorrow night. The move would allow the city to hold a special election this fall to consider a new tax on sugary drinks. The city estimates the tax could bring in $7 million a year, the same amount it's been losing since several car dealerships went under in recent years. And I thought my DWP on that was high. Lot, yeah. what a wow. Presidential candidates in California with their hands out. See how much cash they've raised in our state. Plus, just about the craziest thing anyone's ever done to get off. The race for the White House has raced into California again. Both, both presidential candidates here to collect money and votes. And tonight, President Obama is in Northern California. And Republican challenger Mitt Romney was at an event in Bel Air. Four days after the massacre at a Colorado movie theater, Warner Brothers has announced how much The Dark Knight Rises earned over the weekend. 